What up, YouTube? Welcome to Sonic, and welcome to yet another video. As you can see, I'm rocking these Polo Ralph Lauren pajama pants and the Palace striped collar tee. I don't remember what the name of it is, but regardless, I'm wearing a Palace tee, some Polo pants, so you already know what time it is. It is time to review the Polo Palace Ralph Lauren collaboration. And I must say, I think this is one of my favorite collabs in quite some time. If there are any collaborations that you guys can think of that you guys like as much or close to or even more than this, let me know down in the comments below. And if you see a collaboration that you like, make sure you like that comment because I want to do some polls on my Instagram comparing different collaborations because personally, I think this is one of the best collaborations I've seen in quite some time. I can't even think of a collaboration off the top of my head or the last collaboration that I like more than this one. I just think this collab is so sick they killed it and honestly palace was the perfect brand to do a polo ralph lauren collab it's ralph lauren motherfucker not ralph lauren if you said that you're probably new here but hey welcome thanks for coming to my channel if you guys have not subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button down below make sure you smash that like button because as you guys know right now the palace videos are on the mother chopping block before we get into it i do want to thank every single person who liked yesterday's video i asked for 1200 likes you guys got 1800 likes so thank you so freaking much to every individual who liked yesterday's video i also owe an apology to you guys because i feel like i trimmed a little bit too much out originally the video was 30 minutes i trimmed it down to 17 minutes and i trimmed out some pretty important information like for example when i got the four thousand dollar pillow the reason it was an accident is because the app like glitched i swear i hit the one that said 125 and the product images are exactly the same so i didn't even see the four thousand until i already had my thumb on the freaking thumbprint reader on the iPhone. And by then it was too late. I tried closing the app and then I got the little notification that I spent $4,000 and I was tripping. Like I was actually tweaking because there's no way in hell that I, I, I have nowhere to put a $4,000 pillow. It's legit two meters. It's like six feet. I'd, I would have had to buy a storage unit just to store it. But anyway, so thank you to everyone who liked it and I apologize to anyone who was kind of confused about that. Anyways, let's get into this collaboration. Like I said, make sure you smash that like button. I said in a previous video that I might not be doing palace reviews. A lot of you guys are pretty upset about that because a lot of you guys like watching the palace content. And a lot of you guys were saying that I'm one of the only YouTubers that do content on Palace. So if you guys do like this content and you want to see more of it, make sure you smash the like button. As I said before, if these videos don't get enough love, then I won't make them. I had some negative comments about that, which I'll address at the end of the video. But let's just say, like, we'll just shoot for another 1,200 likes. You guys killed it last time. So if this video gets 1,200 likes, I will do a review on the next Palace season or Palace season range or whatever. Anyways, going over this range, let's open up the Palace website. First up, we have the corduroy down jacket. This comes in this beautiful Mohican brown. This thing is so freaking sexy. It comes in, I believe, three different colors. It comes in the Mohican brown, I think a navy. Oh, never mind, just two colors. Sorry. But keep in mind, these are probably going to be like Ralph Lauren prices. Like, these are not gonna be cheap. Next up, we have these Polar Fleece Harrington jackets. This comes in three different plaid colorations. You got the yellow, you got the blue, and the red. All of these are beautiful, classic plaid colorways. Like, I love all of them. You got the yellow with the red stripes. You got the blue with like the green and yellow mixed in. And then you have, of course, the classic, just clean red and black. All of these are so freaking sick. Yeah, I'm gassed on these. Like, I, I think they killed it with their choices of plaid. Ralph Lauren has dropped a ton of different like styles of plaid and Palace definitely did a good job of picking their like classics, their go-tos. Like I just think Palace killed this collab. Now with that Polar Fleece Harrington jacket, they are dropping a matching chino pant also coming in those three plaid colors. Once again, I think all these are sick. I would be absolutely ecstatic to get any of them, especially if I get the full matching suit. Oh my goodness. Once again, these are Polo Fleece chinos. They're going to be comfortable. They might be a little bit baggier, but you can always get them tailored. Now, arguably one of the sickest pieces to drop and I, I don't want to tell you guys to go for it because to be honest, this is going to be a piece that's probably just going to be eaten up by bots but this is gonna be one of the pieces that's gonna be worth something, and it's this knitted sweater with the polo bear skateboarding. Like, oh my god, this piece is legendary. I hope to the freaking palace gods, to the palace triferg above, that I'm able to acquire this piece. It's so fucking sick, and I just think they killed it. Like, seeing this on a, on a knitted sweater is so dope. The only thing I would've liked to see is maybe the same graphic, like on a t-shirt, maybe like a, a classic gray t-shirt. That would've been beautiful, but still, nonetheless, this piece is fucking sexy. They're, of course, only dropping one colorway. It's gonna be stupid limited, so, uh, yeah, good luck. Oh my god, I want that piece so bad. They're also dropping this, like, equestrian pajama suit. It's got a top and a bottom. These things are super sexy looking. I like the all over print. I think they're killing it. Once again, these are gonna be pretty expensive. And on top of that, I'm not quite sure in which situation I would wear these unless I'm actually using them as pajama suit or pajama pants slash top, which normally I just sleep butt naked. So 
mm, probably won't do that. I like the graphic. I think once again, they killed it. Like Palace was honestly the perfect choice for this collaboration. I don't think any other brand would have done it quite like Palace did it. They're also dropping some matching loafers or I guess formal slippers and they're dropping this in the equestrian print and a navy as well so you can get the full equestrian suit. I kind of like the shoes and I kind of want to cop them just to like experiment and see what I could do with them. I feel like this is something that I could see Sanj pulling off. Me personally, I don't feel like I would be able to pull it off, but I kind of just want to try it just to experiment. You got that beautiful RL on the side and the palace branding on the side as well. And you also got the navy ones. The navy ones I think would be a little bit easier to pull off and the navy ones are a velvet material. So those are definitely two layer as you may know. Those are, oh my God. Oh man, these formal slippers go hard. Anyways, moving on to the next piece, you have these beautiful, oh my god, these embroidered corduroy GTI chinos. I believe the car they're using is actually the car in the lookbook. There's like this car where they're like riding a horse and it's jumping over a car, and I believe that is the car. And oh my god, they're so sexy, especially in this yellow color. Look at that beautiful yellow corduroy. It's literally orgasmic. I just failed No Nut November because of these pants. They're so freaking sexy. I honestly would have preferred to just have the corduroy without the embroidered GTIs, but still, um, it's, it's gorgeous. I would have also liked to see them do that same corduroy. I'm, well, I should say I'm pretty sure it's corduroy. It says cord, not corduroy, but I would have liked to see that color on a corduroy down jacket like instead of the mohican brown do that beautiful yellow that would have been a vibe i know someone at home is like <laughs> you're stop saying vibe you're not from london just so you guys know uh vibe actually started in gardena california with my boy chris matante he's the first one to say that point blank period no one in the world said it before chris anyways next up we have this like patchwork flannel i think this piece is super sick and you see them do this with a lot of their pieces they have it with this uh, button up, they have a hat and I believe they have a backpack as well where it kind of has these different flannel colors kind of like patched in. This is definitely one of the pieces that's gonna be a hitter and I think it's worth considering. You also have it in a Palazzo purple and I do wish they would have done other colors, maybe some solid plaid colors and then the one patchwork, but still this piece is just fucking insane. It's just so, so sick. You have the embroidered core GTI button up top as well that match with the pants. Once again, you have it in the exact same colorway, so that yellow is so freaking sexy. You have the Polo Ralph Lauren Palace Pieced Rugby. Now, this piece has a bunch of different patterns going all throughout, and I'm not as much of a fan of this. You do have it in some solid colors as well. You got it in a navy and I believe a red. Yep. I don't know. I would have liked to see them do something a little bit different with the rugby, like maybe some crazy embroidery or something, maybe like a big pony. But nonetheless, it's it's a pretty sick piece. They're also dropping some pocket tees, which are also not some of my favorites. Like I said, I would have liked to see like a polo bear tee. You got the polo pony on the pocket, and then it says palace right underneath that. I'm sure these are also embroidered. Now this piece right here, oh my god. This palace Ralph Lauren hunting cap. It's a curved brim, it's got the fleece. Oh my god! Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm f weird because I'm like sitting here nutting over a hat but I just think this hat is so sick and I really hope I can get this in my personal collection I love how you can have like the fleece flipped up it still says palace on the back I don't even really care about this hat in the navy at all they are dropping some other hats as well so you have these corduroy hats they're doing some that have these like split colors so it's like this rich ruby and avatar navy I don't know I'm not a fan of the split colors but they are doing oh look at that yellow that yeah if that was just solid yellow that would have been beautiful. They're also doing some solid colors like the navy and then the Mohican brown once again. Like I said, that Mohican brown colorway is absolutely gorgeous with that orange pony on it. Yeah, I'm not as much of a fan of the corduroy hats, but still, I like corduroy, so I gotta say, it's pretty freaking sexy. They're dropping this like patchwork flannel backpack. Now, this is using some of the other flannels, like the main flannels that you saw in the Harrington jacket and the chinos. I'm hoping to get this piece. I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to, but I do have the Tommy Hilfiger Kith backpack. So having this and that would be kind of sick. Now getting into the last two pieces, we have this Polo Palace Bear. Now I gotta say, a lot of companies have been doing the Polo Bear or doing a teddy bear or whatever. Obviously, Babe has done them in the past. They also did this like little bear that is like a packable bear. Of course, Supreme's doing the bear with a box logo hoodie. That's really sick. FTP did a bear like over a year ago. And now we have Palace doing a bear. And I gotta say, I think Palace, I think Palace did it the best. They actually teamed up with Ralph Lauren to make a freaking teddy bear. Like that is so sick. And for me personally, like I already have the FTP bear or at least I'm getting it. I already worked on a trade for it. You already know I'm gonna get the Supreme bear. So I need the palace bear to complete the trifecta of teddy bears. I don't really care about the bait bear that much. I'm indifferent to that. I think the only way that a brand could outdo 
Palace right now with the teddy bear game is if they teamed up with Gucci and made a freaking Gucci teddy bear mixed with their brand. But yeah, I definitely need that bear. He's got some denim on him, as you can see, and then he's got a little knitted pea sweater. I would have liked to see a trifurc, of course, but it is what it is. That's the one thing the Supreme Bear has. At least he's rocking the Supreme Box logo hoodie, and it's like a classic one as well. And then last but not least, as you guys know, Palace is a skateboard brand, so of course they had to do some boards. They had to do some decks. They got the equestrian deck, and then they have these two like polo logo decks. I feel like they could have done better with the skateboards, honestly. I would have liked to see like a polo bear on them or something just like a little bit more legendary in my opinion or even just some like flannel decks like that would be nuts they're not terrible but um they're just nothing crazy to me personally but you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments below personally i think this collaboration is insane and i'm really curious if anyone dislikes it and if you do dislike it why i feel like this is a collaboration that can be liked by basically everyone hype beast and vintage has a like i feel like obviously it's palace so you're gonna have a lot of hype beast lovers and then of course it's ralph lauren so you're gonna have a lot of vintage lovers and i think palace did such a good job of maintaining that vintage like look and like I don't know I just feel like they killed it that was the perfect collaboration anyways last but not least before we go we have some comments to discuss just real quick and I know some people are gonna be like Jacob you're above this like you don't need to respond to comments like stop blah 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 like listen I'm not above anything I'm a regular person at the end of the day I'm just a loser who likes clothes but I do need to address these comments because I feel like I mean, clearly there's enough people that think it where like four or five people left this type of comment. One said, pretty scummy to hold videos for a like ransom. I did pose the question and I said, it's scummy of me to choose how I want to spend my time. And then I informed him that I take care of my parents off this shit. And he simply said, saying in every video, smash the like button is enough. Demanding people like your video or you won't drop another is just abusive. I will say I don't have any hate or malice towards this individual. It does seem like he's a supporter. He even said later on, it just seems like every YouTuber I like that starts to blow up starts to only care about numbers and wide, appe wide appealing content rather than quality. So the fact that I'm even in that group of YouTubers that you like, I appreciate that. But keep in mind, Every YouTuber cares about numbers. If they say they don't care about views or likes or any of that, they're fucking liars. They're fake as fuck. And you probably shouldn't watch them because they're lying to your face blatantly and trying to play you. The only reason to post to YouTube to a mass audience ultimately to get views and likes. It's to grow an audience at the end of the day. I like clothing. And moving into the next comment who basically it's just some guy that said that I admitted to basically just doing it for money instead of the love of clothing. I lost money for five years before I ever made a dime. But I still made content that I knew my viewers would like and I would still refrain from making content that I knew my viewers wouldn't like even when I was losing money by the end of the day this is an outlet that I use to take care of my parents so yes it does not make sense for me to make a video if it does not get enough love so if you guys like seeing these videos make sure you smash the like button if these videos do not get enough love I will not continue to make these videos it's, it doesn't even make sense why I would want to make the video I don't wake up in the morning and think like okay I can't wait to make a video discussing the opinions I already have I would much rather be playing Call of Duty or Skyrim right now or go taking pictures or hiking there's a million other things I would rather be doing than making this video and on top of that Every time I make a video, someone ends up like letting me know, like, yo, I cop this because I saw your video, yada, yada, yada. And even if only one or two individuals cop because they saw my video, that's one or two individuals that copped something that I was unable to cop. It just makes it harder for me to get the pieces that I like and the pieces that I love. So yes, it does not make sense for me to make these videos if they do not get enough support. It's that simple. No hate to either of you guys or anyone who, who thought like that, but just try to think outside your own bubble when you're thinking of these things. Like try not to just assume that every YouTuber is this fucking diabolical villain. I have always try to be 100% transparent with you guys no matter what and I try to be like as real as possible whether it gets me hate or love or whatever like I try to keep it 1000 with you guys I don't try to bullshit you guys I don't ever act like I'm fucking above anyone at the end of the day I'm just a college kid in a one bedroom apartment making videos talking about clothes that I like dude like it's not that serious anyways I appreciate each and every one of you from the top and bottom of my heart as always keep living the star life peace the fuck out